Captain Smart, upri yo, upri. Upri yo, upri. Upri yo, upri. Asemba nyabu tre, because pola do motre. Why you from from... Na... Se si ya minim, se ya titi, ana se fi ata go. No beki kya jo wo dia, mint mintre. But Captain Smart, a bizarre in semi babu one thing about Paul Admotri. Any doctor Baumia hosted the media no. Paul Admotri, what to nebo? We expose Captain Smart one after the other. Supplement any gumbe so dear, what bobby? Hmm. You have no call similar to details. Master was so much a video, we know what's your drama me. Or comment section hall. So two weeks ago, we back here, Dr. Mahamudu Baumia hosted the media. Now, after media encounter no, Captain Smart. The next day, no babon team be chile bu se. Braibwa, e koso wo wana nyan sam ketwa. Nini nane se. Media general, journalist ni bi omoko ya na krampu no omo je braib. E no forse miracles abu wajim mani babon team be chile bu se. Oh, sa braib wo hon sam no. E nyan no kreso omo ma journalist. 20,000 Ghana cities. Nen bomo no. It was 2,000 to 5,000 Ghana cities. No more de ma journalist no. E no krampu no. Ye se oh. Because e bebi obu free ba no. E ho wa. Acha se wushe mo enu ye compensation. Black Rasta so back here, made in the story by ya. Diabwa, or the assassin, so no, and yes, and get to add your say, oh, journalists need be on Moko J. Bright. Now, in sense, I'm going to pull out much that day, no, 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 event, and I said, I'm all back here, my baby, my fans, and no crown, no, I said, I'm going to go. But what you all show up, side bribe on sense, someone, a man for me, I can't can, especially Captain Smart. Hmm. Pull out much, I said, I will go. What to the book? Hey, Paul, will you need to be Somebody gave this and somebody gave that. And it's been discussed around for a while. And I feel that the journalists are being battered for doing nothing wrong. And it's the journalists who are doing that. The people who are talking like that, those who speak, sit in the morning and wear black spectacles, are they saying, are they have not, never attended an event and be compensated before? Um, are they saying that they, they even take money, some of those people, uh, they take money for they immoral they conduct. Like... They take money to come and sit on radio to insult people. And they collect money that give me money, let me go and insult Paul Adomachi. Give me money, let me go and insult Napo. Give me money, let me go and insult Akufuado. Give me money, let me go and insult Baumia. Give me money, let me go and insult Danboche. They do that. They do. All the time. Those people. And then they are concerned that a press conference has been uh, 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 delivered by the vice president and the presidential candidates for the NPP. And they say that journalists went there, journalists were paid 20,000. That's corruption. Let's get to the story. So, uh, this is what we wrote. Journalists don't have to be paid to attend Baumier's press conference, but they need to be sufficiently compensated, shouldn't they? And viewers, I ask you the question. Shouldn't they be sufficiently compensated? Yes, we understand that journalists are not to be paid. Their media houses pays them. The salary is for media houses. But they have to be compensated. I don't see the hula baloo about it. You are holding a press conference on a Sunday. The journalists who are married and have children, they are spending time with their family on a Sunday. The journalists who are not married, they are spending time with their girlfriend and boyfriend on a Sunday. They are watching football on a Sunday. They'll come to work on Monday. You ask them to come to Kempiski on Sunday, and we all think that they shouldn't be compensated. Some of the journalists came from outside Accra. Those who are coming from outside Accra, they should buy their own uh, bus ticket and plane ticket to come from Tamale to Accra to cover Baumier's press conference. Is that, what kind of hypocrisy is this? I do not understand it. What kind of hypocrisy is this? And why are we following after people who are, who are not leading us astray? People who are not demonstrating any capacity to produce thinking. Those who are not demonstrating, they are demonstrating actually zero capacity to produce any thinking. All they know is insults. And why are we following them on this tangent? What is the point? That Baumia gave journalists money and so something must come down, some, all hell must break loose. He's calling a press conference on on a Sunday. He's inviting the journalists to come. It will be irresponsible of the Baumia campaign to invite journalists to come from all over the country to come and sit at uh, the uh, moving pick, listen to him, produce the stories out of it, and, and compensate them for nothing. It will be irresponsible. It will be the height of irresponsibility on the Baumia campaign. And that's the point I was making. Samit Efish should come and tell me that when the journalist came to John Mohammed's press conference, he didn't pay them anything. He didn't compensate them for anything. If he didn't, he's a very wicked man. And he's an irres irresponsible director of communication for a former president. That you call journalists to come to a, to a press conference on a Sunday. 
when they are not working. You want them to put the story together. Now, you are doing it on Sunday because on Monday, you are busy on your campaign. And you don't want to be in a crowd on that day because you have a campaign shuttle somewhere else. And so you call them to come on a Sunday, and it is reckless on the part of the politician or corruption on the part of the journalist to take their money. I do not even know where what we are talking of hypocrisies in this country. What hypocrisy is that? For a moment, we take your break. Now you come part two. So, Dr. Baumia Media Encounter, no one can Paul Adumotre, on the Okoma, Dr. Baumia fans. Paul Adumotre, Kasano, dates any year or go or no, and no, and one bass, and because Captain Smart, the two AP, Yentier Paul. I also covered the UK election in 2001 for Tony Blair, and I covered also the UK election in 2019. So, Paul Adumotre, come into the Captain Smart, or see, oh, and some of Paul Adumotre, can you know, Obwa? Yeah, no crown like or no Captain Smart or repeating the crown pono. It was young, the twitchy, ever home, and on a polar watcher, while bearing the phone from no, yanky captain. Papa, you chroma or in central in Namin Pesamabuni or a trough watcher will be a or say or cover UK elections or bois. Time now, nineteen ninety one. UK for two, I know it didn't feel saying, says your own feel saying. Cause also only fifty. It take nineteen ninety one. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. 1991, Kurabi Sinne. And how many years? When you follow a liar, you become a liar. Principle of two. 1991, ABC 2024. 33 years. Polar is only 50. Now, 33 years, you know, when you take it, if you have a Polar Watch, 50. 33 years. What is 33 feet 20, uh, 50 more a cousin? What is 30 feet 20, uh, 50 more a cousin? 20. We eat 3 feet more a cousin 17. I'm going to catch him, sir. I'm starting Metro TV. And you are not 17 years. You see, when you follow a liar, the principle of two, you become a liar. When you follow a corrupt person, you become corrupt. That guy is a liar. If a media person tells you that Mekova elections are just any TV news, where Basu? Hey, Captain Smart, I sent back to Obo, to Obo, to Obo. Why? <laughs> because this year, Paul Adumotri of the ball finish out. Captain Smart, reaction way. I don't have force Paul Adumotri. We should say, Captain Smart, enough is enough. Oh, he has to permit any gumbi. Oh, he has bumper to bumper. Any anoya yaumet. <laughs> The guy in the black spectacle skills in the early morning. I don't understand him. I say I covered elections in 1991. I mean, a very cursory appreciation will show you that there was no election in UK in 1991. What is wrong with him? There was no election in UK in 1991. I'll show you what I said. I said 2001 and I mentioned Tony Blair. There was no Tony Blair in 1991. 1991, British Prime Minister was Margaret Thatcher. There was no election in 1991. There was an election in UK in 1992. It was won by John Major. Tell him that there was no election in... Uh, just a Google. Google would have showed him that there was no election in UK in 1991. And I didn't say 1991. I said 2001. And I mentioned Tony Blair. Just even listening, they can't listen. Just listen to it. He can't listen. And then he says, what? It's a lie? This is the photograph. It's here. First of all, show the photograph of myself and David Lamy. This is 2001 in covering the UK elections. I was detailed to be at a constituency uh, called um, a Tottenham, Tottenham Hill constituency, just next to Enfield Southgate. This is myself and, and, uh, and David Lamy. David Lamy was the Labour parliamentary candidate for the constituency. And this, I, was, I was deployed there because this is a constituency that has Ghanaians and Jamaicans. Uh, so forget my big suit and, and uh, all that. This is me in 2001 covering the UK election in 2001 for the BBC. And that's David Lamy. David Lamy later became a minister for education under Gordon Brown. And he visited Ghana. Of course, he had forgotten about this incident. So he visited Ghana and the British High Commission thought he should come and have an interview on Good Evening Ghana. Whilst we were having an interview on Good Evening Ghana, I reminded him that I had covered the UK election with him in 2001 when he was running for the first time as parliamentary candidate for Labour. This is that experience back at Good Evening Ghana sometime in 2010. Have a look. We have David Lamy. David Lamy is Member of Parliament, uh, MP 
um, as they say in UK, right? Honorable David Lamy is MP for Tottenham. And Tottenham, um, uh, those of you who've been to London so many times know that it's a big uh, community that people in Ghana have interest. Uh, so I'll be talking to David Lamy tonight about, about Tottenham and about why he's in Ghana. He's the um, minister. Um, if you like, we say minister in Ghana. He's a minister responsible for higher education in the United Kingdom. And he's been here on some official assignments. He's been to the University of Ghana and he's, he's been having some discussions with the Ministry of Education. So I'll, I'll let him talk about that. Um, so let me welcome. Thanks, yeah, Thank It's you. a pleasure. You look very different from nine years ago when I saw you. <laughs> and uh, I'd like viewers to see this. Can we see the, the photograph? You know, I was in London uh, at that time uh, working for the BBC and. Uh, uh, David was, uh, was competing for the Tottenham seat. He, had, he was already in then. He was competing for another term. And uh, I encountered him, so we had a, a discussion. Well, the, the, the scan uh, it should be coming up now, uh, the photographs of David and I. Can you put it on uh, as soon as you can, please? Um, anyway, David, welcome to Ghana. What brings you to Ghana, by the way? Well, you're right. Uh, things have changed. Okay, that's it. That, that, that's uh, So it's... Uh, on your left is Paul Adamotri, and on your right is David Lamy, MP of Tottenham. <laughs> wow. So please, tomorrow morning, tell Opana that I really did cover the elections in UK in 2001. And in Ghana, I didn't say 1992. I said 1998, the MPP contest. And I've covered 98 election in MPP, 2000, the national election, 2001, the UK election, 2002, the internal NDC contest, 2004, the uh, presidential election 2010, the contest between Professor Mills, Espio Gabriel, and Ediana, and Akufado, and Alain Chamatin, 2012 election, 2016, 20, 20, 20, 20 now, and then 24 coming. And that's, that's the kind of journalism they do. See, see this, our friend here. Uh, he, he's there in the West African Media Foundation. They say that the things that he's, Bobia has been saying is, un, is unsubstantiated, that they do radio programs and uh, call themselves journalists only to come and insult people and do unsubstantiated things. The things that they say is unsubstantiated. The things that you say in journalism must have the biggest foundation and, and, and must be the pivot around which society revolves. You cannot be a journalist and be talking and be told by a research organization that what you do is full of insults and unsubstantiated. I'm not sure why the National Media Commission is not saying anything about it. That the person calls himself a journalist, he's doing a radio program, and then a research institution goes in, research into his work for a period, and comes to the conclusion that 90% of what he says is unsubstantiated or it is insults. And then they feel that this, it's, it's okay, they think it's okay, that's up to them. Uh, but we will not fall for those low standards. Professor P. A. V. Ansan used to write something. He says that uh, he, will, he will not descend into the gutter with them, but he will rise up to the standard of the ivory tower and make sure that the standards of journalism are continuously high. May he rest in eternal peace, and we will make sure that the standards of journalism are continuously high. Not this kind of journalism, where the M Media Foundation for West Africa comes to the conclusion that the things that he says are either insults or is unsubstantiated. And that is the content of a full radio program, a full media program, which has been assessed to say that what he says is unsubstantiated and is full of insults. But some people applaud it. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Master Wasa will be share video when over to your comment section. Medidi Kuju, Black, Macrow. Sending money abroad just got a whole lot easier with AfriX. Our slick app makes international transfer crazy fast and super secure. Just tap a few buttons, money sent across the board in a minute. One magic of AfriX is that you can add your debit card or load money to your AfriX wallet right in the app. Then send those funds to your recipient overseas straight to their bank account at lightning speed and zero fees. You can earn a one-time bonus of $20 if you refer your friends and they send up to $150. Whether you're in the USA, Canada, Europe or anywhere in the world, AfriX. Best rates at no cost with no hidden fees.